For this video, we are going to build a pattern, make a pattern, that we can use to uh, cut the leather so we get this lemon peel type design. Um, and this is going to involve a little bit of math. It's called the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and essentially what we want to do is duplicate something that looks like this. You know, essentially we're going we're gonna to make a square. We have to determine the sizes of the sides, but we're going to make a square and then um, draw a pattern like this on, on that square. So to get started, um, the first thing you want to decide is how uh, big of a baseball do you want? What's the circumference that you're looking for? And in the Beatles dime books, for each year that they played, they had a, a specification in the rules, usually section one, of the maximum circumference and uh, actually a range of the circumference and a range of the weight. So uh, just for the sake of this, I'm going to say I want a 9.5 inch circumference, which means from this tip here to this tip here, once it's put all together like this, I want to be around 9.5 inches, as close as I can to that. So. Uh, to, to start, we're going to make a square where the circumference is 9.5 inches. So when we look at this one that's already made and the dimensions are different on this one, what I'm saying for 9.5 inches is from this point of the square to this point of the square. So if we cut that square into, into two, we'd have two triangles with this centerpiece being the hypotenuse of the triangle. And we want that to be 9.5 inches. So, the way the Pythagorean theorem works is you have x squared plus x squared equals y squared. So that's, this is x, so x squared. This is also x, so x squared. Those two together should equal this distance squared. And we know this distance because I just said I want it to be 9.5 inches. So x squared plus x squared equals 9.5 squared. So my handy dandy calculator, 9.5 times 9.5. So I have x squared plus x squared equals 90.25. So I'll simplify this down. We have two x squareds are going to equal 90.25. Divide both sides by 2 to simplify that. So we have x squared equals, let me bring this back, divided by 2 equals 45.125. Okay, well, don't, I need that still. So x squared equals 45.125. And to calculate x, which we need is this distance of the square, is going to be the square root of 45.125. So I'll hit the square root button. And I now get x equals 6. 0.7175. So that's the distance I would need for the, the lengths of the sides of the square to get me a 9.5 inch hypotenuse that splits that square. So let's just round this to 6.72, which is roughly, I'll put a little approximate there, 6 and 3 quarters inches, just under 6 and 3 quarters inches for that square. So that's what we want to do is we want to square now. That is six and three quarters here, six and three quarters here, six and three quarters here, six and three quarters here. And when we're done, that should give us this line to be real close to 9.5 inches. So that's what we want to build. So to do that, I'm just going to start by making a couple reference points to make sure I get the square square. Because I'll come in just one inch on the sides here and I'm just picking one inch randomly. I just want to use the same number all the way around. And I'll draw this line by connecting those dots. Top to bottom. So this is my reference line. This will be the left side of my square over here. So now I need to come in six and three quarters inches. And I'll try to be as precise as I can here. Because I want this pattern to turn out. So six and three quarters is here, and I'm just going to come in a little to the left. And do the same thing down here. Get that right on the line. Go to six and three quarters and come in just a little bit to try and get that 
I'm going to connect these two lines. Okay, so now I have the left and the right side uh, of the square done. So now I need to, to build the top line and the bottom line. So I need a reference point again. So I'm going to come in one inch as I did before. I could have come in two inches if I wanted. I'm just going to make it one to make it easy. Mark those two spots. I'm going to connect those here. And now I have three sides, and I just need to make that bottom side now. And so from this reference line across the top, as I did before on the sides, I'll just take this down six and three quarters. Come in just a little bit. Six and three quarters. Come in just a little bit. And I'm going to connect those two dots. And there I have my square. This is six and three quarters, six, three quarters, six and three quarters, six and three quarters. So as I said before, from this point to this point now, our hope is that we're very close to nine and a half. And let's just see where we ended up here. Get that there, come across here. And so you can see I am just a tad over nine and a half there. So when I when I came in a little bit on the six and three quarters, I probably could have come in just a little bit more. But this is close enough for what we're doing. Um, if you wanted to make an exact pattern, you could go ahead and move those lines in a little bit if you want. Um, that's, that's totally up to you, but for the sake of doing this, I just want to show you the process. Um, so we have the nine and a half. So I'm going to just bisect this square into four quadrants, just to help me get some points of reference here. Because what I'm going to do is draw this shape on here, on this piece of paper. And so this, this line gives me kind of a point to where I can make that shape. Okay. So um, one advantage you guys will have now is I can help you with dimensions of these pedals and the space in the center and how to get this on here. It was a lot of trial and error the first time I tried one of these um, just because I wanted to learn how to do it. And so what I found is when we make these, uh, if you drew a square from this point to this point, this point, kind of thing like this, if you will, that dimension is a two inch square. And so let's go back to do the Pythagorean theorem as if we had a two inch square and we know this is two. This time we're solving for this distance. So it's two squared plus two squared equals y squared. 2 squared is 4, 2 squared is 4, so 8 equals y squared. So y is going to equal the square root of 8. And the reason I'm doing this is that we want to draw that square on our pattern and get it right. So 8 square root is 2.83 roughly. So we're just over 2 and 3 quarters. Um, so let me take that 2.83 and divide it by 2. So 1.4. So I'm going to say one and three eighths roughly. So I want to come in from this point. I want to go out one and three eighths in all directions, and that'll get me to that hypotenuse. Of it. So again, this is roughly, and this is because this is a process. But once you get it done, hopefully, the the next one you build will be easier. So let's come to one and a quarter, one and th yeah, one and three eighths. So right about here. One and a quarter to one and three eighths, so right about here. So now this gives me that two point uh, eight two, roughly, that I was looking for to build that square. And so let's do the same thing this way. And then I'll just connect the dots. One and a quarter to one and three eighths, roughly. One and a quarter to one and three eighths, roughly there. So now I can just connect these dots.
Okay. So there's that there's that square we want to avoid cutting into that space. That's this is this square here is this open space we don't want to mess with. So you don't have the trial and error. Just remember this is two inches, two inches, two inches, and two inches, you know, roughly. So now I want to if if you look at this, where these petals come to the point here is going to be the midpoint of each of those squares. So I can mark this at one. I can mark this at one. So that's a midpoint. And that's a midpoint. And I'll do the same thing on this side. This is a midpoint. And this is a midpoint. So these midpoints, and I'm just going to highlight them here a little bit more for you. For the, you can see it on the pattern. When I draw these petals, they're going to come right down to this point. Okay, and then right down to this point. And then this one's going to come up out of that. This one's going to come up out of that. So you kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. Uh, this one will come here. This one will come here. Uh, this one will come here. This one will come here. So that's kind of how these petals are going to are going to go. They're going to start at the tip here, work their way down to here. The other thing that it's good to know is, and I'll put it on here, is this width. What's the width at the widest point? If you get these too far out, when you're sewing up the ball, they're going to overlap. And so, with trial and error again, and I'll give that to you guys, I found this dimension to be two and a quarter inches, roughly. Yeah, two and a quarter. So, what I want to do now is kind of find this point uh, within this pedal where that two and a quarter happens. And you can see, if this is the center and this is the end, it's a little bit past the halfway point. If you eyeball the halfway point, you'd probably be about here. So I want to go just past that halfway point. So just for the sake of measurement, let's go ahead and measure this. It's uh, about four and three quarters, so two and two and just under two and a half is the halfway point. So I'm going to come up to about a two inch point on each of these and draw a line. So that's about where I want that pedal to end up at about that two inch point. Or, I'm sorry, where I want that thick part of the pedal to end up. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. And you should be able to do the same thing now. Just put it at two inches and know that that's the number. You don't have to do the trial and error. And now a little bit of artist rendering comes in handy here. Oops, let's this way. Is now this being two and a quarter. I can go. I should cut this out here, I can go one and an eighth now in each direction to get to that maximum point. So one and an eighth this way, one and an eighth this way. And I'll just do this one pedal for the sake of time. Um, just, and then the other, the other three pedals will be done the same way as that. I'll mark each of these. So now I've got this point, and I want to try to go smoothly through that thing I just drew and then come down here and connect with that line. So that gives me that pedal. I'll do the same thing here. Now you don't want to go straight. You want to give it some room there. You want to make that pedal go smooth, which it kind of already came out a little bit. And so there, that pedal is drawn there. Let me just get rid of this so it doesn't look goofy. That, that's, that's pretty close. You know, that's a pretty good pedal. And like I say, you may end up doing this a couple times to get it just right. But, so when I cut this, I'm going to cut along this, and I'm going to stop right there, and then I'm going to do this pedal, you know, I'm going to go all the way, just cut the pedals, I don't want to cut into this space when I do this, because this has got to come out looking like this. So that is the process by which you use to create uh, the pattern for a ball. So the one thing that can change, you know, if you, this, this we decided this was a 9, 0.5 inch circumference and, and keep in mind when you do this that when I put this ball around the core it's going to stretch a little bit so I'm probably going to end up with closer to a 9 and 3 quarter inch ball maybe even a 10 inch ball because of other stretches so check your leather if it doesn't stretch a lot um, your 9 and a half will become 9 and 3 quarters to close to 10 if it stretches a lot you're probably going to get 10 um, and I would recommend you take the nine and a half down to nine and a quarter and just kind of go from there and just do the same kind of math. Just figure out the numbers, get it as close as you can. 
So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.